Well, thank you very much. Um, first, we are happy that, in spite of everything, uh, APC had a successful rally that was peaceful and it achieved its purpose. As I stand here now, I am taller now than I was just yesterday because we have harvested to our party people who were part of the foundation of APC, those who participated in the negotiation for the merger. Not only have they returned home, they've also used their connection in the other party that they were in to move people who has always be on that side to come and join us. So, as far as I'm concerned, as national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, our house in Edo is now truly a full house. Particularly if you remember that Pastor Ize Yamu was my DG in 2012 second term, and I won in all the 80 local government areas. I won all the wards in the Do South. I scored 74.6% of the total vote cast. In 2016, the man left us and stood against us. We only managed to defeat him with about 50,000 votes. So if, he has, if he's beginning on board as he has done, that is goodwill, it's energy, it's resourcefulness, and it's own electoral base to join the APC. I am much more confident now about APC continuous hold on the governance of this state than ever before. The shame, however, is that those who have responsibility to provide security, decided to create security challenges. I am embarrassed as national chairman that the Inspector General of Police will write me a letter informing me on the strength of my application in which I inform him of our intention to do a rally in Edo to receive people into the party. And this is something that happened every other day in different parts of the country. We form police not for license. We form police so that they can justify their salary or maintaining law and order. It is not for them to grant permission. And I thought, as national chairman, I should do, I should be former. I signed that letter by myself. I did ask my PA or SA to sign it. And I hand delivered this letter to the IG. I didn't send my PA or SA to go and deliver it so that there can be no possible communication gap. Because we are the governing party, we have responsibility, among other things, for peace and security. And so I must share as national chairman from those responsibilities for, responsibility for peace and security. That was why I took those steps. And it conveyed to me in a letter that I'm sure you all have, if you don't have it, we will forward it to your WhatsApp that he had directed the police in Edo to provide full security so that the exercise can go smoothly. He told me he himself knows Pastor Ize Yamu because he was once AIG in Edo State. So he knows who is who. He knows the political value of his joining us. And he wrote that letter to me. What I am not able to understand is how the same police, the same IG, could be alleged, I use the word alleged because he has not written to me, I haven't cited any letter, who we'll send a letter to uh, Philip Shaibu, a deputy governor, that the rally will not hold. The party is not run by the government. The party is run by the party. The business of people joining us is the responsibility of the state chapter who invited me and other members of the NWC to join them to receive pastor. Because I am from here, you can't deny that. 
And I have also worked with Pastor. It's a fact of history for which I am proud. So how police, IG, can ask me in the morning, go ahead and do uh, your rally, and then without getting back to me, write to another person to say, no, that really should not hold, is something I will still need to find out when I get to Abuja. Because for me, it's a shame on a door police command that people brought daylight yesterday Nothing was scheduled for yesterday other than I was expected to arrive Benin. And because people thought they can intimidate me from arriving, they burnt tires on the airport road. You don't need to be a civil engineer to know that when you burn tires on asphalt road, you have destroyed that part of the road. Over time, it will begin to fail. And the police supervise this violence. They superintended over this violence, even as the IG had given me a letter. And as of that time, no letter had been issued to the contrary. For police to claim that they are unable to secure the airport road, as reporters I ask you in the name of God, to explain what Edo people went through yesterday. Bini was knocked down because the police blocked the roads just to oblige the deputy governor or the government of Edo State. What are the issues? I hear some people are panicking that the pastor is coming because he wants to take a ticket. I've become sick of this suspicion. I, uh, uh, my former deputy governor, uh, Dr. Paul Sudubu, was appointed as director of one of the department of uh, uh, Buhari Capital Organization. And the governor alleged that that appointment means I'm preparing him to take over from him. He is now appointed as chairman of ADD. He say, oh, it's all part of the plot. So everything they do is about. And you are witnesses. And you have to, you have a duty to protect ourselves from ourselves. Every APC meeting now, they sent talks to go and attack. They sent talk to my house here at 8 p.m. And again, the police were speaking from both sides of their mouth. I reported to the IG. They arrested those who organized it. And those state government intervened. They released the suspect to the deputy governor at night. They brought her to Bini, uh, to Abuja write their statement, and they came back with private jet, and they were boasting that they are above the law. What is at stake is not me. I have nothing to prove. But I am limited by the fact of the office I occupy to try to share the burden of peace. Otherwise, the Oshomole you know, even that the military, we even carry protests to police headquarters. When they kill MBA chairman and his wife in Anabra, we ask the police IG to fight. So I am not, I have nothing more to prove, except that I have a duty to assure that we support the president's effort in maintaining peace and security, because it's our collective responsibility as a governing party chairman. I asked the police yesterday, I said, okay, this is how you contribute to giving the government bad image. Assuming it was PDP that was going to receive people from APC, and IG has written to the PDP chairman, Mr. Secundus, saying he will provide security for the reception of the capis to PDP. And then he writes to another person, a deputy governor of that and say, don't allow the rally. By now, every hour, Nigeria will say police are at it again. Why must the police compound the problem of this government? That I don't understand. But you know the power of the truth. All the army in the world deployed the most potent weapon cannot defeat the truth. And today I am proud that we have had a peaceful um, reception to welcome back not only Pastor Ize Yamu, thousands of other PDP leaders and members. An APC house is fuller. Our confidence about winning the future, 
at the next election, for me, is better assured by what has happened today. But let me send a message to Philip. I said so the right time. His propensity for violence, if he's not careful, he who rides on the back of a tiger, where does he end? I want to still appeal to him. This is not greatest book book student unionism. Violence will not take him anywhere. He can only compound his problem. Simple question. Yesterday, I saw a car that was born. Now, everybody is aware that these talks were organized with the approval of a dual police command to do what they did. Tell me, that guy whose car was burnt, you think anything will make him to vote for Philip tomorrow or to vote for the governor? You are fighting over ticket. You are not fighting to win the heart of the electorate. I saw a guy whose front back uh, uh, screen were smashed. This is an ordinary voter. He doesn't belong to a party. Why must he suffer that? Would that be a plus for APC? Would that man not be tempted to want to punish us on election day when he has that power called PVC?